Bonjour, je suis Paul, je viens de France, j'ai 21 ans. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lucie Gay, donc je viens de France. Mon nom est Derek et oorspronkelijk kom ik uit Nederland. Chen Yen Ru, je suis de Chine. Romani Maitana Kivnak. Valerine, je suis Marie-Kenne, je suis Tanit. Je suis Faras, je suis Falastin. Je suis Evelina, je suis Polski. Je suis Dethie, je suis Meglantina, je suis Vinga Chipuria. Je suis en Hangouk, je suis en Pionjini, je suis en Koya. Hallo, mon nom est Roman Schöwinger. Hallo, mon nom est Markus. Hallo, je suis Nils Hermann. Hallo, mon nom est Jessica Lang, je suis de Deutschland. Ciao, je suis Sarah Pizzati. Hola, je suis Thomas. Hola, je suis Anna. Hola, me llamo Juan, soy de España también. Merhaba, ben Şafak. Türkiye'den geliyorum. Ya sum Gotze Grozdanov, y sumud Makedonia. And I study political science, comparative literature. Civil engineering. Journalism. Tourism. In medicine general. And I study business. Public health. Mathematics. Journalism. Banking and finance. The interpreting and translation. Medicine. Tourism. And I'm studying psychology at Babes Bolya University. These are just a few of the students that have chosen to study abroad worldwide. Due to the result of globalization and the expansion of higher education, intercultural student mobility has grown strongly over the decade. Each year more and more students choose to study abroad so they can enlarge their target of interest, experience new surroundings or continue their studies if they didn't get the chance at home. In French we have a special thing, it's uh, you have uh, f four, f 3,000 people in the first year of medicine and after to pass in the second year we have only 80 places. So it's very difficult to be a doctor in France. Basically the reason everyone wants to go abroad is for me it's I want to know something about the country, I want to know some different cultures. Well, at first I, I wanted to move somewhere and to, to have my own experiences and to live alone so I could make my own personality, let's say. <laughs> I wonder why did you choose to study abroad? Well, that's a question that many people ask me and then the second question was why Romania if you can choose from yeah. Sweden, Scandinavia, America, United States, every other country, say every other country, it's better than Romania and that was more the motivation for me to pick Romania. Erasmus and other exchange programs offer a wide variety of intercultural cities where students can live out the so-called Erasmus experience. I really wanted to live the Erasmus experience because a lot of friends did it and they like it a lot and I think that it's something very strong and very intense that every student should live. One of these international destinations for students is Cruz Napoca. A city ought to be multicultural, warm welcoming, open-minded and eventually a home away from home for every student that passes by. Foreign students often choose this city because of its hospitality, its cosmopolitan atmosphere, the recognition of the universities, the affordable tuition fees and the low cost of living. I actually wasn't convinced about Cluj at first. Um, I was a little torn between uh, Bucharest, Cluj Napoca and Budapest. But eventually I was thinking about uh, the university and Cluj Napoca is the best one compared to the others. And I saw there is a lovely city, it's a student city, not too big, not too small. So I kind of thought it was perfect for me. For me, Cluj is better, uh, the best city in Romania, that's why, okay. probably. For me, it was said uh, the more exotic one. Yeah. And I, I didn't know anything about Romania before coming here. And I wanted to, to know another culture, a new, new culture. Many communities, organizations and cultural centers welcome the foreigners into their circle so that they can also indulge in local community activities. So we have um, a department called Social Erasmus. Um, its purpose is to, to integrate the students into the local community and we do stuff like visit an elderly house or children's house or go to a shelter, uh, stuff like that. 
In a much greater term, organizations like the Share Federation take high measures to showcase the local foreign communities, to support cultural diversity, and to integrate migrants and foreigners into the society. We are trying to involve uh, the foreign students in the local community activities. So we are trying to put them on the same on the same age as as uh, local community. So the foreign students and migrants are invited to become part of the European Youth Capital, and we have the framework to do this. We have a strategy. We are really thinking of them. I'm trying to help them, to support them, and to help them to be, to be more integrated. Because in the end, they want, if the people want or they don't want, they will be here. So the best possibility for us will be to integrate them and to not let them outside. Although this phenomenon is only maximizing now that Kuznapuka was awarded the European Youth Capital of 2015. We can see that people of Cluj-Napoca do care about the internationality of their city. People are very curious about you as a foreigner, and uh, they are very open-minded. They kind of they accept you. I don't well, like in I've been to some places that you can feel like even though you're not an immigrant, you're a visitor, but you can feel like an immigrant. But uh, here, no, you are appreciated in a way, and it, it's. It's, maybe it's even better to be a foreigner in Cluj than Romanian somehow. Well, at first, because I'm from Albania, they were like kind of scared <laughs> because of the opinion that they have for Albanian people. They are like animals and violent and stuff. But then when they get to know me, they knew that it wasn't real. So. <laughs> the most people I met, they are all in the same age, so all between 20 and 30 years old. So they are all very open-minded and of course uh, sometimes there are some um, prejudices against uh, uh, Germany and uh, also I have maybe sometimes some against some other countries and it's just funny to talk about it and just to find out okay it's not really like this. So uh, This year definitely uh, Cluj is the, the best place for them to be because um, there are a lot of events uh, for them, uh, a lot of multicultural events and well English is spoken everywhere, everywhere in Cluj, so they can um, make the most of it here. So as we can see it, events and cultural centers practically evolve around the integration of foreigners. But we were curious to know as to what exactly do the incoming students think and see regarding this. There's a lot of lists with activities. But I don't think there's a lot of um, talking with foreign students about the wishes and about the ideas they have about uh, around Cluj. I try not to go so much with the French people and with the French cultures because I want to discover something new. I think there are some events but I was not interested in. I think there is some Aust an Austrian library or something like this and uh, German institutions but I'm not interested in the stuff here because I don't want to... Uh, take part in some events where only German is spoken. When asked if whether they would stay and live from now on in Cruz, the students' responses varied from never to maybe. Um, if I would start working here, then I would notice all the bad things happening here, like the salaries and political stuff. So for now, nothing really bothers me, but I think after a while I will find out that it's not that pretty as it seems to be. Yeah. I wouldn't think go that far. I think I would come back and spend some time and yeah, we'll travel around. I definitely will come back, but I'm not sure, it's maybe not the place where I really want to live because the income is very low, so it would depend maybe. But I definitely want to come back just because of my friends I met here and just because Romania is a great place just to visit. As a student, yes, but then for work I don't think no. so. Not for work and for me as a student with one year is enough. I think it's, it's good but it's good to see how different are things but no. Maybe when I'm old and wrinkly and done with my working life I will come back here and just buy some sheep and some dogs and live in the countryside. <laughs> and do, doing hiking all day long. All in all, from the responses given by the students, we can conclude that even if their journey hadn't lasted that long, and even if they hadn't seen all that Cluj has to offer, they still thought of Cluj as the city built on a strong multicultural platform with organizations that have done the best to include them into the society.